Hello everyone. This is our Art for Elderly session number two. My name is Jeannie Kim and I am going to be your instructor for this session. You see here the eight colors that we have provided for you last time. And so I thought it would be worthwhile for this session to go over each color and we can talk about what colors to mix if you want more colors. Um, and so yeah, let's get started. On your palette, um, and let's say your brush is like this. The the top right is the first one's yellow, right? So that's the first one, yellow. And in my palette here, I have marked it in blue, these eight colors. So that whenever I'm using these colors, you know what I'm referring to. So for example, yellow. This yellow is over here. Red, for me, is over here. Crimson, which is like a more rose-colored red, is over here. This one is called Burnt Sienna, in other words, brown. And for me, it's over here. Green is over here. Turquoise green is over here. Blue for me is over here. And lastly, black for me is over here. So now that you know what each color is called, Whenever I say green or turquoise green, you know which of the two I am using when I am painting my scene. And so that is it for this section. And now I thought it would be worth going over the three types of watercolor techniques that we covered last session. And so just to save some paper, I'm going to just use the back of this sheet over here. So to refresh your memory, the first one was called wet on dry. Second one was called wet on wet. And the last one is called dry brush. So I will kind of go over each of these techniques in these little squares over here. There you go. All right. Um, so this part, you can follow along with me, or you can watch what I'm doing. And if you have any questions, let either let the staff members or myself know. So you see, first of all, I have my water and brush. Any brush will do, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, for me, I would say this is like a size 4 to 6, kind of around that size. We're going to start with wet on dry. So what this means is the brush is wet, but the paper is dry. So this is your very, very normal uh, technique, right? So I'm just going to get some red here. And just do a little swash. Ah, 
swatch or wash wash there you go so that's our wet on dry the next one is wet on wet and so if you remember this time we have to clean our brush first but make sure the paper is wet first so instead of going for the paint I'm going straight for the um, square over here You see here, you are not going to see it, of course, but like if you kind of tilt the paper, you'll see where it shines. And then this time, just choose a color. I'm going to choose the turquoise green and just kind of do a little, little dab there. I keep doing that, then we'll start to, the paint will start to spread outside. And I think I'm just going to leave it like that so that you can see the full effect. And the last one is called dry brush. So literally, the paper is going to be dry, of course, but the paint you want enough paint just so that there's a little bit of pigment on the brush, but not too much. Just enough so that you're going to get some color when you um, paint. And so let's make sure you have some paper towels, right? Make sure your brush is dry. I need to get some paper towels. And I'm just going to make sure that it's dry, but not too dry. It's still a little wet, right? In English, it's called moist. Moist, right? It's not wet, not dry, but in the middle, moist. All right. So that, let's try to get some paint. This time, I'm going to use blue. I'm just going to... Make sure to get some paint on there, but not too much, right? And then just try this. There you go. See, clearly I need a bit more paint. Let's try that. There you go. And if it's still not too dark, then you can get like a tiny bit more water, right? Just a little bit. There we go. Not too much. Let's try. Just a little bit. Let's try that. It still feels a little wet, so I'm gonna get a little bit off again and yeah. It's all about feeling. So it depends if you want it to be a little bit wet, a little bit more dry, you can get two kind of techniques there. And that's it. You notice the three differences. Um, and now I will be using some of these techniques, but it's um, not the end of the world if you get wet on wet and mixed with wet on dry it's all good yeah so now i can i think we can move on to our first painting <laughs> 